Yo, welcome to the tired episode. That's, that's every episode for us. Well, uh, but this one's exceptionally like. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, this, <laughs> this is the this is the level. That's right. This is this is the thing level. This is a level that things happen in. Oh, I still did we blood. we got all the body parts out of the main area. Holy shit! Oh, did we, we? did a we did a lot more than I thought we did. I don't remember doing anything. I remember getting this uh, this that thing stuck up there. Yeah, the steppy thing stuck. Yeah, that definitely happened. That was fun. Well, I'm gonna get rid of the blood outside since there's no reason to. Hmm. So apparently. You can get even more points by uh, scanning those little ID tags that you find for the bodies. Why right, you said that on Skype, and I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't know how to do it, but I know it's a thing you can do. <laughs> can you use, like, the sniffer or whatever it is? No, it's not the sniffer. Oh, it sucks. Um, it's... I think it might be, like, the logout thing where you clock out. Oh, okay. So, I thankfully, I have most of them in the box here. I just need hmm. to take them out oh my god they're like stuck in the box now and i don't think i could get them out let's <laughs> take can you pick up the box i can but if i shake it out like that's everything yeah, that's fine it's not like we have to clean up anything anyways you know what i mean oh my god oh my god just open box please <laughs> please oh fuck there's a body part here there's a little little goober of a body part why don't we have a crouch I, I don't know. I'm gonna dump this water real fast. I'm just gonna use this bucket. Oh, there's blood in that bucket. Right, I put that there. It's a blood bucket. Oh my god, I might actually have to tip this thing because they're not coming out. Hey, hey, John, how's your blood bucket? Oh, it's good. All right. Well, I I tipped the box. So. Oh, uh, don't you just hate it when your your blood bag leaks blood onto your computer that you're playing video games on? How do you fix that? I have an idea. Flex tape. All right, so how do I do this? How do I scan them? No, uh, I, I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh! Is it is it doing things? No. Oh. oh, I just like you just like bring it over. What are you? There's nothing in the box. I dumped I them all. Know. I was bringing it. I was bringing it over. No, no, they disappear once you do it. So, like, if I bring this over and put it up to, like, the screen, yeah, it scans it and it makes a noise and it's like, yep. Oh, interesting. Did it change the music? Uh, I don't know. I guess I scanned it. I heard the little dip dip Now, that being said, I don't know if the green ones work because they're not from this level, but if they do, we might get extra points. It did. It, it, it did a little. Yeah, it, did, oh. made, it made that sound. Okay, cool. I like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'll leave you to this. I'm going to go clean stuff up. <laughs> You're like, this is boring as shit. <laughs> you you, you want to do that? I'll, I'll, I'll do this. I'll I just productive. hate, like, the one thing I will say against this game, because everything else is pretty great in it. Like, it doesn't tell you the requirements of anything. Oh, yeah, that's, that's one problem. Hey, I found another one, by the way. Okay. It's over here. Like, it just assumes you know how to clean everything. And, like, yeah, we get it, the mop to that, but, like, we didn't know anything about the bullet holes or, you know. Oh, this, this game's awful. It relies on trial and error gameplay. Oh. Well, You're yeah, out that's oh. generally not a great thing to do. I know. Even if there was like a, like, like a, like a, a data sheet somewhere. You right, know? yeah. Even, even if when, at the very, very start of the game, like, you know, when you load the level, you get that little clipboard. Yeah. Even, even if, if that told you. That'd be great. Like if, be if like, it gave you the option to read it, you don't have to read it, then you're good. Yeah, but just like uh, the the tutorial in Dark Souls Two, best game. Oh god. Hmm. This is gonna be a little bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. I think. Come on now. So, speaking of totally uh, different games, I started yeah. to the moon. It's a good game. It's fun, isn't it? It's a. Uh, it's a game. It's 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 a it's a game that things happen in. And uh, people keep saying it's a tearjerker online, and I'm like, I don't know. I cried at the end. Did you? I did, yeah. Cause you're a little bitch. Well, listen, fuck you. How about that? I have feelings. 
I really don't. I'm a do soulless. You, do you bastard. remember feelings? I don't. I never had any. Are you are you saying you you don't have feelings? No, I'm saying I built up a protective shell around myself. <laughs> and she's broken it. Don't you see, man? It's love. Really sunny. Yep. Was that Dennis that said that? Yeah. Yeah. You figured. <laughs> so all right, can I uh I'm gonna tell you something interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know if Wait I can say me. this. I guess you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'll say it anyways. So we can't monetize so, anyway, so who cares? Well, it's actually about monetization, believe it or not. Oh. So I... Uh, the video... Last episode of Viscera. Uh-huh. I record... I, you know, we record it. I edit it. I upload it. Right. I get, I get a copyright claim on it. Uh-huh. I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks. From right. what? Well, I wonder what it is. Open it up, and I see audiovisual content claimed manually by uh, my network. Interesting. And I kind of go, hmm, what's this about? And I, I think about it, and I, I, I go and log into the dashboard that they provide. Uh huh. I'm still part of the network. My channel isn't. My the channel isn't attached to the network anymore, but I I'm still a, I still am, right. So I'm kind of thinking like, are they still trying to give me money by running ads on my videos? Oh, that's cool. And I'm like, okay, okay. I can if this if that's what they're doing, great. But if they're claiming my video and then not giving me money on it, then that's pretty fucking shady. That's theft. That's that's where we'll have to see. Well, did you email them? them? Oh, okay, I good. Did. I contacted them. Uh, admittedly, pretty late last night when I saw it, um, and I was like, "Hey, you know," I give them the rundown. Like, um, I, I, you know, as you probably can tell through my the stuff, um, I fall below the requirements for partner program, and so what's the deal? So we'll see. Well, that'll be interesting. Well, hey, that's cool. I I, I always figured like the the uh, if you're part of an MCM, you're pretty much good. Well, yeah, because they're yeah. the ones claiming it. But at the same time, um, I have to see what what happens with the uh, the money. If if I don't ever get a a, a payment from them, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna be like, hey, listen, um, uh, give me the I, money if you're gonna claim it because you have no bearing on this video. At, at the same time, um. Nintendo, there they have a partner program too. Oh yeah, uh, and they actually disabled it if you are not a partner anymore. Really? Yeah. So oh. I don't know what the legality is of that. Well, I'm sure you could still upload videos, but they, you know, no, they like don't. If your channel is not part of it, they don't accept videos from your channel as part of the right. Like, so they, they just Nintendo program, a normal claim, right? No, they they don't do anything. They said you you can't do it through there thing anymore oh so then you just you just get hit with a copyright claim and that's that well no you don't get hit with a copyright claim anyway unless unless there's an automatic one i'm pretty sure but there is yeah no not for all nintendo games what, what what their system is is that like most of the time it's a manual thing where you go to their website and tell them which videos of yours have nintendo content in them oh interesting huh and then, and then it shows up as a manual copyright claim, like you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Huh. That's... But I guess your MCN just has an automated system to make manual copyright claims. Must be, yeah, because it was which manually is, detected. Which is interesting. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully they don't screw me over. Be like, oh, it's part of your contract. We own your videos. Well, you can always dissolve a contract That's true. By, actually, by leaving it. It actually just renewed, so I, I can if I want to, and, you know... Yep. Yay, legality. <laughs> yeah, this, this is it's good. It, it'd be kind of a shame because it's, it's, you know, damn near five years. That's yeah, part of but at the same time, like, honestly, uh, very, very honestly, I'm kind of like, I kind of feel liberated by not worrying about the copyright stuff because, like, everything goes up and it, there's just no downsides to anything now. Well, well the, the benefit for me was that at least for a little bit, I could use music from their library mm. and not have to worry about it. That was like the one benefit that I really utilized. 
gotcha. if, I, if I got a strike, then they could fight it for me, but I never got a strike, so, you know, knock on wood. Yeah, I mean, but at the same time, you and I are both musicians, so... That's true. <laughs> I, I always imagined the, the idea of, like, making 100% total original content, because why not? Ooh, I found the bullet hole gun. Ooh, nice. And something is already melted next to it. Oh. Cool. I wonder if that was a uh, someone picked grabbed it as like a uh, last second weapon. A weapon. It's entirely possible that like weirder stuff happens in these levels. A little bit. That's a little bit of nice world building. I like that about this game. They do. Oh, oh, nice. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna grab one. I'm just gonna make like twenty of them. This is uh, what I'm doing is a bad idea because there's still body parts down here. But. Oh. Ow! Oh, I fucking grabbed the thing and. It didn't work. It fell over? No, it threw a body part out and I clicked it when it became and it didn't work. Oh, you can get rid of the pools of blood. They just take like a million uh, yeah. swipes. Yeah. I would have to assume so. You can get rid of them. No, but like it takes a lot. It takes like almost an entire like mop thing to get rid of a pool of blood. It's only four. Yeah, you can get actually get away with more if it's smaller things like uh, footsteps and stuff. It actually does count per like the size of whatever you're doing. According to the wiki, it says that you can you really can realistically for normal pool of blood only use four. Right, but it's, it's, and I know. It's, it's, I know. It's, 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 All right, calm down there, Arnold. The, the governor of California, not anymore. Pe people don't. The funny the, the thing about. Uh, the you, funny you, thing about okay I, I, uh, the funny thing about that Arnold impression that everyone does, he never really does that. A little thing. No, he 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 mostly just actually he talks way more calmly than everybody like gives him credit for. It's more like hello in the governor of California. Well, everyone assumes that every single one of his lines was ever was always get to the chapa, and that's what they he's gonna be, you know. Well, Whenever that is one of his biggest lines. Actually, have right. you ever seen the movie uh, Kill Gunther? Kill Gunther? Yeah, he plays a uh, an assassin, and a bunch of a group of other assassins wants to kill him. Oh! And uh, he literally says that line at the end of the movie, and uh, like the entire movie is just memes about Arnold, but oh. he's in it. Really? Yes. That's like. I uh, oh, never mind. I'm not gonna say it. It's it's like the biggest sellout movie I've ever seen, and I kind of applaud him for doing it because he understands everything. Like it's, he gets the joke essentially. It's very meta. Yes, it's incredibly meta. <laughs> I, I like, like stuff like that. Right? I, I couldn't very... I couldn't believe he did it though. I was just like, wow. But you know, he's cool with it. Apparently. Oh shit! What? Whoa. Oh, it did work. Yes. Did you put the explosive barrel in there? I did. I want. I wanted to see if it would explode. Yeah, I, I did. I kind of did too, and I was. I was glad I was here for it. But um, holy shit! Hey, that that woke us up. Oh, never mind. Still, I'm still asleep. Well, I still. I, I have my volume down. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> um, holy shit! So wait, do we have to put the explosive barrels in there, or do we just put them in the barrel place? I would assume it's a, since they're barrels, we put them in the barrel. Place. I figure too. I hope it doesn't count like how many of them. I guess it just counts like, hey, dispose of them somehow, either by putting them in the thing or, I don't know. I'm not even gonna guess at this game's rating mechanisms. Uh, sure. It probably doesn't have any. Sure. Probably just does what it wants. I don't. I haven't seen one of those in forever. What? Uh, that ESRB rating. They're oh, on every single game. I know, but I guess every single game release physically, actually, because yeah. uh, digital games don't need it. Yeah, I, I, on Steam, I never see them, and I kind of didn't think about it until just now. Yeah, but that, make, that makes a lot of sense because Steam is not required to uh, follow ESRB standards. Pretty cool because it's a digital marketplace. <laughs> yeah, a game like Manhunt or something. Uh, Red E for everyone on Steam. <laughs> Well, they don't even get rated. I mean, the thing is, it's one of those things where it's like um, movies. You can technically release a movie without a MPAA rating. There's mm. nothing saying you can't. However, most theaters will never take it. Right. Because they want to be able to make sure right. they stand. Exactly. Yeah. And it's the same way there. It's like, I think technically you can release something without an ESRB rating, but 
like no retailer will take it because I think retailers are required to display it. That's no the thing. It's like you don't have to get it rated, but a person who sells it has to tell you know the rating. Yeah. So well, if you want to sell it physically, you have to have the rating. I don't care about I don't care about physicality. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? And honestly, most people don't. I almost wonder if the ESRB is just going to vanish because everybody's moving to digital downloads. I'm sure they'll try to shoehorn their way in somehow. Right. Well, they always do it like after the fact. Like they're like, oh shit, we're not relevant anymore. We should probably <laughs> fix that. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh guys, we're not relevant. I mean, it's what happens. It's what happens in every single industry and business. Oh, uh, my power's disappearing. Uh, I want it back. Uh. Basically. Yeah, that's um, kind of sad. I mean, the MPAA is probably the only ones that actually have, like, everybody, people will always go to the theater for movies. It's just, yeah. even though movies, theater, theater stuff is declining, people are pretty much always going to go to the movies. It's a thing. There's a literal phrase that everybody knows, go to the movies. Yeah. So. Uh, the one movie, the one franchise of movies that I actually give a shit to see in theaters so it's such a nice experience. Star Wars. It's the only thing I care about seeing in theaters. Um, I, I, can, I can give a fuck about any other movie. I agree with Wars. you. I want to see that in theaters. It's such a nice experience. I mean, I'm going to see Black Panther tonight. So. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, I, I could see Black Panther either way in theaters, or if I wanted to watch it for the first time at my house, fine. But... The first Star Wars movie I ever saw in theaters was Phantom Menace, and I was a kid back then. I'm like, oh, this is how Star Wars has to be watched, even though it's the Phantom Menace. But No, I get it. It's it's almost like a religious experience a little bit. Yeah. And but I like, get it. However, yeah. I could live not seeing Solo in theaters. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. I, I, <laughs> like, like... I'll, Solo I, I, does not look great, I'll be honest. I don't like their no? casting for, for uh, Solo. Who, who they cast as Han Solo? I don't know his name. I just know from the um, from the little like trailer that they released that I don't like him how he plays it. Oh, uh, was it was it, oh uh, I think I knew who that's uh, uh, Steve Buscemi, right? <laughs> he would have been better. What, what, Steve what? Buscemi should be in more, more movies. He really should. He's he a should really play. really good actor, actually. No, you know what you should do? You should just play Donnie from Lebowski in every movie. Honestly, it's been so long. Like, I saw The Big Lebowski once, and I don't remember it. I saw it twice about three years ago. People reference that movie all the time, and I just sit there going, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. The only lines I really get are obviously, you know, uh, oh, Aiden, Alden, Herenrick, Herenrick. I don't know how you pronounce that. That's the guy who plays Han Solo. Um, huh. What? I found a bomb. Did you? Yeah. What in the disposal thing? Uh, I'm, I'm afraid to pick it up. Where, where are you at? Uh, the left tunnel. I'll pick that motherfucker up. I don't give a shit. I mean, I can pick it up. I'm just worried that it's going to activate. I mean, what's going to happen? Explode. It's just a little thing of dynamite. Careful the buck. Okay, cool. Well, I'm sure you'd have to set it first. Well, yeah, I don't know if you can, but I was just, there, I was just like, there's a bomb. Um, okay. It's on standby. Yeah, I guess toss it in. Let's see what happens. What does that say? It's just something on the front. It says activated standby. Oh, device active. Yeah. So it's an active bomb. There you go. Close it. I'm going to stand right next to it, see if I die. Yep. Oh, I died. Oh my god, and there's a lot of pieces of you. Oh wow, yeah. Um, well thanks for that now. Well, you know, it was about- Oh, good lord, yeah, that really went flying. Yeah, um... Oh god, great. That's, there's something really disturbing about looking at my own body. Well, you you made it, so... Hey look, it's, 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 it's my legs. <sighs> I just stepped in the blood. Ah, oh, there's three- Wow, I okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give the game credit. That was pretty funny. <laughs> it was. I didn't expect it to throw you that far. I really wish I had seen that. <laughs> I love uh, exclusive content. Hey, 
I, I panned with it too, and I just saw your body floating. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, shit. here's my head. Yep, it went real far. Was I a black guy? Uh, apparently. Wow, all inclusive. I like that. Well, th th I mean, you can spawn as a girl sometimes. Speaking of black guys, <laughs> um, I don't know where this is going. Uh, I, I'm very interested to see Donald Glover as uh, Lando. I am too, but I think he might be too squeaky for Lando. Too squeaky. Interesting. Okay. Like, his personality isn't hasn't ever been smooth and you know, Colt forty five. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> like, so I don't know if he can pull off Lando. I've never seen him do that. If he can, awesome. But we haven't seen him talk in any of the trailers. If he goes like Childish Gambino on it, all right, sure. Nah, even then, that, it's not... a step in the right direction. It is, but it's not the smoothness of what Lando is supposed to be. Right. Like, yeah. He's he's supposed to be like a charmer, uh, you know, the talker. Um, well, the Lando that we that we met in yes. episode four at uh, five. Uh, so maybe this, you know, since it's going to be a younger version, maybe he doesn't quite have that yet. You say the younger version is a bitch? No, <laughs> the the younger version might not have that. I that smoothness. He might have to, you know. Yeah, but it's. I feel like it's inherent to his character. Eh, we'll see. It's a prequel, baby. I don't know. I. I feel like people give prequel too much carte blanche. Well, you know. Uh, what? Uh, uh. Never mind. <laughs> you alright there? I I wanted to. I had a question and then I just like ah fucking never mind. All right, and then. What did you think of uh, Rogue One? Uh, Ooh, I thought it was kind of terrible. I thought it was okay. Not I great, but... I thought it was a poor exercise in writing where all of your characters don't mean anything. I thought it was interesting that you already knew the outcome in a way. Uh, yeah, but I mean, there's plenty of movies that do that. There's movies that there's there's a movie that's literally called John dies at the end, and that's guess true. what? John dies at the end. <laughs> or the Expendables, where they're expendable. Well, but they don't actually all die. That's true, but still. But 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 what I'm saying is like, it was that, it was nice to see the the story. It was, but at the same time, just from a writing standpoint, the main character, Jin, doesn't do anything. She is told where to go. She never makes a choice. She never makes a decision. She just goes with the flow, and that's really, really odd for a main character. It's like, why are you even there? You, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? <laughs> Until you said her name, I didn't know what her name was. I just realized. Yep, there you go. Oh, it's man, the main that, character okay. that you don't know the name of. Uh, that movie kind of was not that great. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the characters are utterly forgettable and serve no point to the plot. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm fucking sitting here like, yeah, you know, it's not, not a bad movie. What's the main character's name? Uh, <laughs> uh, shit. Yep. So, um, <laughs> bad it. movie. I would have much enjoyed it being a movie about uh, Mads Mikkelsen um, and how he gets the plans to his daughter. That'd be, well, yeah, that'd actually be a little bit more interesting, I guess. Or if she <laughs> actually, like, was more unique. Well, well, if she had more of her own, like, uh, what's the word called? Um, uh, character? <laughs> yes. But, like, uh, volition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, Instead of being, like, yeah, instead I'm of being carted around all over the galaxy, like, it, if she had some sort of purpose in every scene that she was in, because she, she really doesn't. The fact that it's like, she really, now that I think about it, she really doesn't talk very much, does she? Nope, she doesn't talk very much, she doesn't do much of anything, she is just there. The first, like, what, me, like the first scene where she actually gets, like, rescued from that wasn't, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the convoy or whatever where she's being held right but that's the thing she, she gets doesn't really do anything she's she gets kind of rescued like, she's like she doesn't break out and we see that she's really good and has skills she's rescued she's sitting there and there's boom bam boom and she's like oh this is just kind of happening around me okay yep and then she gets taken to the rebel base and then that she's told hey your father's done some shit and she's like yeah i know hey you should go get the stuff why why, yeah. why are you sending her? She has no training, and um, 
no reason to go there but you're sending her because she's his daughter okay i guess i guess we'll, we'll go with the daughter part so but because she has no training and she doesn't know what's happening she can't do anything on this mission yeah she's kind of she's like and the... spoiler to anyone who's not seen it she never meets your father <laughs> wait say that again wait what, what? she never say meets her father Oh, she does. She she sees him on the walkway of a, of the airstrip, and that's and then, about it. And then, spoiler alert, he gets blasted, and she's like, "Oh yeah, I'm here." And yep. they have a moment, and then he dies. Yep, that's spoiler that's alert. the extent of her doing anything. She's there for when her father dies, not to know and talk to him and be trustworthy. Like, the, uh, so again, what was the point of her being on that mission? Because her yeah. usefulness was nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There's, there's, there's literally no story reason for her to exist. It's a real shame. It is. Um, and I I'm wish. Not, not a great movie. No. But it, and movie. what's really sad is because it's like it's the first Star Wars movie with a female lead. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people hoped like, hey, like well, this is really, what we've wanted. Well, I mean, Ray. You're right. Uh, but I mean, like, centered on her. Yeah, okay. Like, Ray's story is important, but there's a lot of characters in that. It's more about the rebels in general. Yeah. I mean, like, this was supposed to be Jin's story, pretty much. It's about her father. It's a personal tale. Name really Jin? <laughs> yeah, Jin. Jesus Christ. I J Y N. Totally forgot that. Oh, maybe she's a that. maybe she's a relative of Qui Gon Jin, and she just drinks all the time. <laughs> Have you ever <laughs> seen the thing of uh, Qui Gon Jin is the worst Jedi? Is he the worst Jedi? He's just oh, I guess, wholly yeah. terrible. Yeah, he, he does. He gets killed in, pretty much instantly in his first. No, reel. there's there's a whole like YouTube video that shows how incompetent he is. When they walk into the very first room together, literally in the first scene of the first movie, Obi Wan goes, "I have a bad feeling about this," and Qui Gon Jinn says, "I don't feel a thing." Yeah, <laughs> and it's like what? What? He's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, you're, aren't you a Jedi Master? <laughs> When and it so it's the council's head. So there's yeah, there's an entire there's an entire clip like clip show of him just being horrible as a Jedi because he's just <laughs> terrible in every way. Man, Star Wars is really Star Wars does not have some good Star characters. Wars. Let me tell you, no. some of them are real dumb. No, you know oh, who's the best though? Who best character? Colt forty five. No, the Gonk droid. Gonk. Gonk. Gonk did nothing wrong. <laughs> I will say the one benefit of the uh, the new movies is that they have they they look really fucking good. They do. They they it's as movies they are pretty. Well, they're pretty solid. Force Awakens was pretty much the first movie. The second movie, I'll be honest, is a little forgettable at this point. It, it, there, there are some good moments. There were. I, I enjoyed seeing uh, much larger scale force powers. Finally. Yeah, the uh, space battles are pretty good. Although fucking Leia knowing how to fly without any explanation is dumb as shit. That that was the weirdest fucking thing. I, is it? Is it okay we talk about this? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's been long enough. That fucking opening scene where she gets blasted out into space. Spoiler warning. <clears throat> I'm, I'm like. I'm sitting there like, what? No, it was. Uh, I was did, sitting there the they, entire time. I'm like, oh, this is a really nice send off to Carrie Fisher. It's all slow and there's nice music and like, oh, okay, yeah. And then her no, eyes this open is nice. and she she becomes a force fucking. Yeah, and then her eyes open. Person. She becomes you know a fucking Jedi master. Flies through space without a space suit, and I'm just like, what? Wh what? Me? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, wh what? It's just. It's so asinine, and it comes out of nowhere. Nowhere are you told that she's been practicing force powers. Like we're we know she's force sensitive because she 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 pretty much confirms it in the first movie when she you know feels uh, Luke you know halfway across the galaxy. Yeah, but, but like, what the fuck? Nowhere does the game say that Leia actually has. Or the game. The movies say that she has force powers. Or that she was training. Even if they just mentioned once in the entire movie that she was training with Luke, you know, when her son was there or whatever. Yeah. That's it. That's you're out, I'm good, cool, perfect. 
we are never told that she can do anything. She's just there. By the way, there's three more bombs. Oh. <laughs> that so, was... that's a big thing. But let me tell you what the worst part of the entire movie is. What's that? The opening scene. Of episode eight? Yeah. The, no, wait. Now I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess here. Yep, take a guess at what it, what's the most asinine thing in the entire movie. My the thing that I hated the most in that opening scene. Uh, I'm I'm looking for General Hux. Can I speak to General Hux? That was really dumb, but not even that. The the bombing part. Oh yeah. So I I, I kind of I wasn't sure about that. What uh? So like like what 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 what'd you say? Well, uh, shit, I can't even talk. My grievances with it. Yeah, like, what What were your problems? I didn't have a huge issue with it. So, in a world full of lasers and space guns and a literal weapon that can destroy stars... Oh, they, that they were using physical bombs? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why would you use a bomb mechanism that falls with gravity, of all things? Oh, yeah, in space. Oh, no, no. The gravity, I, I, I get, because there was gravity, like, localized gravity on the ship. Right, that makes sense. So... Yeah. Okay, it uses the gravity from there. But why don't you just have a propellant of some sort? Why don't the bombing ships move at a normal speed? Because they're 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 um their fucking engines are bigger than the fighters' engines. They should be moving faster because that's how stuff works in space. Yeah, no, I'm not the one thing I'm not sure about. The like basic physics were just thrown out the window because we need tension. Let me let me I'm gonna I'm gonna take a whack at this. Uh-huh. Just, I don't know if they explain it. I forget if they say this in the movie. Can the bombs go through the the shields of the ship? Like 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 can they physically fall through? I don't know if they ever mentioned that. Okay. Well, stop because closing the goddamn furnace. No, I'm closing it because I'm putting the uh, the bombs in there. Oh well, open it back up after they're well, done. Fuck you. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't, pretty... I don't think that's the case. I think they're just really high yield bombs. Okay. And I don't. I don't even mean the explosion. I mean, could it phys, could it just physically fall through the shield? Because I'm pretty sure the shield really is just for lasers, in theory. Because ships have gone through. The it's possible, as far as but you stuff. can still you can still throw it. You can still launch a physical thing. I mean, like launch it like you would an escape pod. That's true. That's very true. Like it doesn't um, need to slowly fall. <laughs> so so that's so I guess that's that's two strikes against it. They were. If they flew, if the ships flew at a normal speed, and the bombs actually had some kind of propellant, even if they fell straight down like that, yeah. they at least were like if they were just launched. Like, yeah, put them on a goddamn spring; they'd fall faster than gravity. The the fact that there was like the subversion of expectations, where it's like the thing isn't is gonna fall out. Also, how were they? How was she breathing? <laughs> If the the bay door was open, unless there was some kind of atmosphere in there, uh, there there's invisible force fields. Okay, I was about to it's, say it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, like that, all, all that, 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 that I can accept just because that's my, as far as my suspension of disbelief goes. It's but, like okay, but, there's an invisible force field that but, you know. Let, let me say this: Didn't the original guy who was down there, the bombing uh, door guy, wasn't he wearing like a full headgear thing? Mm, like a, an no, actual space helmet? No, he was just a regular dude, and then he died. Okay, okay, I, I just didn't remember. Yeah, no, it's uh oh shit, can I not <laughs> fit this in the bucket? Yo, oh no, the Neckmore farm. Oh no, um, oh, I guess I'll just have to leave that here. The that yeah yeah that was a kind of a weird plus the fact that what's his name Poe Dameron was like <laughs> yeah that whole thing of like trying to. And like it was, it was only him versus the entire thing at the beginning. It's They're like, trying to the make him the doing? next Han, and I'm like, you're not. Stop. He's, he's not. He was like marginally better in this movie. Well, marginally. Yeah. Like and then one percent better. And then the the only other small little thing that I will say about that movie is, um, Rose and Finn are completely useless to any plotline. The fucking <laughs> subplot where there's it becomes no, Disney. There's no reason for any of it. They just no, want. No, no those characters even, i will admit even up to the point where they have to like they have to go find the guy on the thing mm -hmm. and then they're like all right we're on here and then they get imprisoned oh no even even and then they're like the, the story where it's like oh yeah we have to erase the things as we're as kids brah and then they get imprisoned and then they free the shit up until the point where they get imprisoned 
mm -hmm. they, they start freeing the stuff. Fuck, fine. It was perfectly acceptable. Well, I thought it was going to lead somewhere. Like, yeah, I'm like then, waiting for the payoff, and I'm like, okay, we're going. I'm, I'm with you for now. But instead, it becomes Disney. We're like, yeah, we're riding on the thing. Woo, learn the lesson. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? This is totally pointless. So you know what they did? In, instead of actually, like, doing anything useful, the only thing Rose and Finn actually did is lower the quality of life for the kids that are going to get blamed for them escaping. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's it. That's all that they did. Oh, so, my God. Yeah, the subplot is just bad. I hate... I really thought Finn was going to die, and when he oh didn't, I was like, fuck you. I That... <laughs> You do crazy stuff for love. Fuck you. I was. I just. I I hate it so much. You know what part I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. On on, the, on the not Sam Hoff. Or, yeah, the, yeah. With Salt Hoff. Yeah, Salt Hoff. The if, uh, if they had the balls to kill off a character, I would have been sad to see Finn go. I would have. It would have. It would have absolutely just like solidified everything from the last. You know. It, it, from everything of the movie it's like he gives himself up to you know do yeah. something and then nope he's still you know completely useless in the end hasn't done a single thing he, he wanted to run away and then he was going to kill himself for the rebellion Re rebellion yep. great boom Perfect. character development i love it and then they they robbed him of, of character development of all things <laughs> the one thing in a movie that you need yeah and Can it was we just talk about luke also real fast luke luke i really actually enjoyed actually I except for the blue milk thing, that was just it, dumb was and not really necessary. That was weird. It's just it's it's not even weird. Like I get he would need to do that to survive, but just the framing and the action of the shots, like the way he does it, it was like uh okay. So bizarre. It, it was really bizarre. I didn't mind it as like a story character thing though. I was like okay, Luke could I could see Luke going to be a hermit after he fucked up. It's the same thing that uh, Obi Wan did. He pretty much was a her hermit. That's true. Yeah. So I, I could see him doing that, but just how he was acting was a little weird. It was so weird. <laughs> there, there was a little bit too much like silliness at points on that, that planet with him or on in with those scenes. Well, they were trying to make him Yoda. Yeah. Which uh, thank God Yoda showed up and was listen, idiot. Yeah. Here's it was like, deal, idiot, right? stop trying to be me. I got me down. Yeah. Like, you know, in fact, there's a little bit too much silliness in the entire movie at times. And it's all Rose and Finn. No, actually, no. Some of it's Ray. <sighs> Barely. I will like, say the, 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 the one the one part that really ticked me off. Mm -hmm. Right. She she turns on the lightsaber for the first time. Not the first time. Well, she's, okay. she's had a lightsaber before. The in that movie. Okay. For the first time. Uh huh. And she. She's like starting to get into the force. She's starting to make the connection. Whoa, yeah, crazy doing crazy stuff. Boom, slices that rock, right? Right. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, this is cool. I can appreciate that. There's going to mm -hmm. be a good moment here. No, the rock falls down and destroys one of the cards after she had blasted through the wall, thus solidifying the hatred for her from those little creatures. Yep. And it's like, ha, 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 ha. <clears throat> Except it's not ha ha ha. Actually, like, the thing you. the thing I really hate about Ray actually is um, she's good at everything without actually having to work for it. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit irritating. Like, so Luke had to spend how long with Yoda on Dagobah? In uh, like three days. <laughs> no, that's three. That was three days just for the basic lesson. He went back to Yoda afterwards. Oh, before, right. Before, yes. Before Episode Six. Yes, yes, yes. Where, because in that. Six he delivers the line, "I'm a Jedi." Right, because he's completed his training, um, and Ray is able to move those boulders um, because she wants to. <laughs> and, That's the Force, man. <clears throat> and so I'm like totally like every other character has had to do it, and you can just do it just because for no fucking reason. There was a great <laughs> there's a great picture where it's like each character through like you know each chosen one mm -hmm. each, uh, trilogy, and it can you know. I had to I had to train for years to learn how to, you know, master the force. Luke had to train for, you know, three days. It was quick, but he at least got the basics down. And then Ray, what's this glowy fucking stick thing? Right. Mm, hey, okay, cool. It's and that's it. It is. It's exactly how it is. And like in, in Force Awakens, she was able to do the fucking mind control trick. 
not even having heard about it. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. She yeah. just did it, and I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> it's well, let's see what what else. The fact that they didn't fucking raise the X wing pissed me off. You know, you know what Ray is. I'll just one one last thing about Ray. You know what Ray is? She's What's a that? fucking OP D and D character. <laughs> Somebody rolled way too well, and they're just keep rolling well in all their skill checks because, like, hey, I got like twenties in all my stats. <laughs> Lucky, woohoo! And everybody else in the party is like, oh, "Fuck yourself." You know what's funny? Also about that movie, the uh, the infamous scene, if you will. There's more than one. <laughs> well, the, the shirtless scene. Oh yeah. Mm, <laughs> my sister bad. and I went to see that at night. It was like eleven. It was a ten o'clock showing. It was us two, uh -huh. and then like four other people in the uh, the theater. Yeah, you know, in various locations. Right. That fucking scene comes on, and I, and there was just a, there was a guffaw heard throughout the uh, entire theater. <laughs> it's it's warranted. <laughs> Want to know where that guffaw came from? Was it from your sister? It was from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because I, you know, you 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 can you kind of miss the, the I thought screenshots. It, I thought it was gonna be from these nuts. No, no, no. But I, like I saw it, I'm like, ha! <laughs> just let one out. I couldn't even stop myself. I mean, that, it's warranted. It's just like out of nowhere, and it's like what the fact the fact that was actually one of the only funny parts that I really enjoyed. That and when he throws the lightsaber behind him in the opening. The thing is, that's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> It, it kind of is, though. It's not. It, it absolutely is. It's not. Have you heard the director talk about it? It's supposed to make him seem, like, um, huge and, like, uh, overbearing. It's supposed to make him seem scary. That wasn't being played for laughs? I no. thought it was. No. What it was fuck? legitimately trying to be, like, oh, look at him. He's stacked. No. not it. That wasn't even close nope. to, like, scary. That's not what I felt at all. I just I felt... It what the fuck is wrong really with your funny. torso? <laughs> it was so hilarious. I thought I genuinely thought I was being played for laughs because she's like, "Could you like put a shirt on or something, dude? Please." Nope. It was supposed to build sexual tension between the characters and Actual to, uh, yeah, they 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 were trying to like make it be like, "Oh, could they have a romantic thing?" Yada no, all. Never. What the fuck? Well, they 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 tried to like put a little splash of that when like. He's trying to, he, because the way that they phrase it, it's always been seduced by the dark side. Uh, so it's like the literal, like physical seduction part of it is coming into play. Not uh, that it, not that it actually does anything because she doesn't care, but yeah, you know, you know what else I wish they did pretty well. <laughs> made a good movie. Uh, besides that. Um, I do too. I wish that I they too. like, I wish that they actually had Snoke do something. Instead of just die? Yeah, because he you, you see him and he's like, what? Dead. So that being said, I, I do wish Snoke had like more parts of the story. I do love the way that Snoke died. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I, I totally... People say he died like a bitch. I'm like, no, he definitely would not expect his one people to kill him. And it's the exact same thing that fucking Anakin did to Palpatine. Which I, I actually thought that they were going to do that a repeat of that story, where so, you know. So did I. Snoke, I, Snoke wants wants Ray as his own apprentice. I know they that they you know say that he wants, he's going to kill her, but like I was kind of hoping they would do a little bit of a fake out there. Well, he did. He offered her, like, to join. No, but like, but like more than that. You know, I thought they were going to do a little bit more than that. Just like, yeah, do you want to? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cause, cause, that, that is pretty much how it went. Because Sidious in episode 6 with Luke, he's like, hey, you're going to join. And he's like, no. He's like, no, you're going to join. Yeah. No, you're going to join. And then he starts electrifying him. Yeah, whereas she's, he's like, do it. And he's like, no. I'm like, all right. Like, I tried. <laughs> yeah. I, I put in an effort. I, I fucking hate the... Why do the first aid kit things just fall open? What do you mean? Like, if you get anywhere near them, they just fall open. Really Maybe because in, in the game that this supposedly took place in, um, when you get close to them, they open, so you see them. It doesn't ever level. There we go. Hmm. You just have to click on it to close it, but it's still annoying. Yeah. I like the uh, the ending of episode. <clears throat> what happened at the end? 
on the salt planet the confrontation between luke and the kylo oh yeah that luke thing was really cool actually that was that was really good i really enjoyed it i didn't think he should die but we didn't he didn't really die he disappeared and now he's a blue ghost yeah he became one with the force yeah i mean uh, that's uh, quote death in a way that is true but he didn't <coughs> in really the star wars universe technically die i mean no he didn't technically. technically he also did die but let's you know technically he didn't die so wait do i need to like show the data logs to the thing too maybe Oh my god. There's two of them that are like in the floor now and I can't get them up. It was it was funny, like well, as that scene was happening, I was kinda watching it like well first off when he shows up, I'm like, wow, he really cleaned up. <laughs> That's pretty quick, weird, alright. <laughs> and then like and then and then he gets blasted and I'm like, Oh, is really that's it? They're just gonna kill him off like that? Yeah. And then he steps out, I'm like, Alright, something something's up. And then then, you know, he gets sliced. I'm like, ah, okay, yeah, something's really up. And then it shows that he's, you know, across the universe. I'm like, ah, okay, that makes sense. I see what you did. Okay. That was pretty cool. I like that. I, yeah, the across the universe thing is really cool. I, I still go back to, like, there's there's a scene in a comic book that I really wish could have happened or, like, we could see one day just because it, like, shows the power of the Force. No, you're never going to because it's non-canon. No, well, yeah. But um, Luke actually brings down a Star Destroyer with the Force, like, crashes oh. it onto a planet. That's pretty cool. And it's like, that's badass incarnate right there. I, I wish, uh... But we're never going to see Windu it. stuff in the movies. I don't want to see anything about with me, Swindu. Why not? Because he's... He's entertaining, but he's not really a good character, Star Wars-wise. <laughs> I want to see him, what he did in uh, the animated Clone Wars. In, like, 2001, where he takes down this giant, like, stamping machine from the droids. Stamping machine? Yeah, it's like an earthquake machine. Or, no, it's like it's like a an Earth tsunami machine. I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of the Clone Wars. Oh, they're really fucking good. They're all, like, three minutes long. And it's they're not three minutes long i've i've seen them on netflix like they're 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 full like 30 oh. minute are you talking about the 3d ones yeah no no these are these are the 2d ones by done by the guy who did samurai jack what mm -hmm. yeah they came out in like 2001 are they canon anymore uh, I, I guess technically they are because they're clone wars but it's hard to tell what's yeah what they anymore. might have been really referencing the 3d clone wars they 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 pretty much are them that and rebels is pretty much the only stuff but They're, i would highly recommend it it's really good i will say they finally gave a reason as to why sith have red lightsabers and it's a better one than they had before oh what was it so like <clears throat> in the lightsabers there's crystals you know yep. that gives them the color apparently mm -hmm. um if you like corrupt or like override the crystals like a sith would um they start to bleed oh and so the that's where the red comes from yeah that's okay. it's better than there just being a red crystal because then the question is well why don't sith have different colors then they can still have the different colors yeah that's huh okay interesting i, I don't i mean like it's an interesting concept because it means that the the crystals themselves are like alive in a sense yeah <clears throat> yeah and i'm okay with that it's better than the previous uh explanation <laughs> What was it again? I actually don't remember. It was just the different colored crystals. Oh, that was it? That was all they had? Yeah, that oh, was pretty funny. much it. I mean, like, you mine them in different places, gave you different colors and all that. And it led to some interesting stuff, especially in the games, because you could have, you know, different Oh, yeah, was crystals. that the KOTOR explanation? Yeah, KOTOR did that same thing. It's like, you know, certain things are just like this. Yeah, okay. Um, which, I'm not going to say no to them for it, you know, because it's still interesting, but... The, uh, I will admit, I actually, there was an interesting thing that I learned about, uh... When the fuck are the bullet holes? So, when, when I was a kid, and I saw, you know, in episode four and whatnot, and I was like, why, why, you know, the good guys are supposed to have the green lasers, and the bad guys are supposed to have the red stuff. Why, why do the Imperials have the re uh, the green lasers, and the good guys have the red ones? I literally thought the same thing as a kid. <laughs> well, I found, I finally found out actually a pretty, pretty decent answer or explanation uh-huh green 
lasers come from high quality laser gas. Oh, the right. Planet. The gas that they use, right? Yeah, the, the, the gas fuel. And then red comes from low quality, which the rebels would have. And it's like, okay, fine, fair enough. I, I'm sure that really the explanation in the movie business is, uh, so you can tell who's firing who. Yeah, and I don't think Lucas actually would have, like, differentiated that much, to be perfectly honest. Well, uh, like, like, when you mean that, you mean, like, he wouldn't have put the thought into, like, the Rebels are going to have the lower quality gas, so they're going to have the red lasers. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, like, 90% of what Lucas did was after the fact explanations for weird shit that he put into his movie. Yeah, that's true. Like, there's not a lot that he put forefront thought into. I'm, well, there is. That's That's unfair to him. There is, but there's a lot of questions that he couldn't have possibly thought of just because he was busy making, you know, the rest of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, that was all the art designers who came up with a lot of that stuff. And I was like, oh, it looks cool. Sure. It was, yeah. I mean, like, he didn't even know what a lightsaber looked like until he told one of his prop designers to make one. Yeah. And then they were like, uh, all right, I guess I'll take, you know, an old film handle type thing. Okay, Mr. Man, Mr. Director. Sure. Just fucking knock it. What are you doing? I'm cleaning. You're knocking shit over uh, everywhere. I knocked, uh, I knocked over another body part. Yeah, you did. I didn't see it there. Piece of shit. Hey, look, it, it's a piece of Luke. It's his, it's his hand. Why is there a cage in here? Cage? There's a cage. John Cage? No, oh, look at it. There's a straight up cage. Is that where they uh, kept one of the things? Well, yeah, it's a. Oh, my God. I forgot about this body up here. Holy oh, my shit. God. There's what? Fl oh, right. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, he got stabbed by one of the arms. Uh, oh, wait. I want to do. Oh, wait. I want to try something. Hold on. Should I grab him and you grab no, the no, arm? No. I, I, want, I want to see if he'll fall. It probably will. I want. Can I just do it? Can I just try it? Uh, fuck I'll clean it. it up. All right. Come on, let's not even. So it doesn't. I don't have to track through it. Go. Do, go for. It. Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Neither was I. That's fine. It's okay. All right. Well, there's there's a like I already. Okay, you take that piece then. I'll grab the, the legs. I will try and. <laughs> it was Trapped. waving at me. <laughs> what? The hand was waving at me when I picked it up. Yeah. You want to do a, a rendition of 4 minutes and 32 seconds by John Cage? Just of silence? Yeah. Why? I don't know, because it'd be funny. No. No, what in this just called dead air? Hey, speaking of Star Wars. John Cage never did anything for it. No, it was John Williams. It was John Williams. Although. They have the same name. John Williams. If people say he steals a lot of stuff. I don't think he steals a lot. I think. He's borrowing familiar thematic elements. Yeah, I, I could I could see that. Like, oh god, I can't remember the classical pieces from, but like the desert scene is very much like the chord progression I've heard in I think like a WC piece before. That's not a surprise. Yeah. All right, there's there's one right answer. Best battle music in any movie from Star Wars. Ba -ba 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 oh, Duel of Fates. Yeah. Uh, you are incorrect. No, I'm totally correct. No, you're incorrect. Fuck your face. Uh, Battle of Heroes from episode three. Which, what does that sound like? Uh, that's the one between Anakin and Obi-Wan. No. No, yeah, it's Duel, Duel of Fate is pretty much the best battle no. music that has been made. No. You're incorrect. No, I'm, I'm totally correct. No. Uh, down in the comments, <laughs> tell us who's right. Uh, ba Battle of Heroes or, uh, Duel of Fates. The one person who comments. Yeah. It's the tiebreaker. Oh my god, I, f I found out something really funny, by the way. What? So you know the cantina music? Y yeah. That style of music has an actual name in the Star Wars universe. Oh. A name. For that, that genre of music. What is it? Never gonna guess it. Oh. J just take, just throw something out there. I don't know, space jazz. You're relatively close, actually, with the jazz. You ready for this? Sure. I'm gonna type it out. It's called it's called jizz, apparently. When did God leave us? <laughs> 1977. Right. <laughs> oh. When episode four came out. That's just. That's pretty funny. Jizz. 
Do you know there's more than one Cantina song? Uh, yeah. They they made a couple for the first movie, but they only ever used one. Did you put a bomb in there? No, I put in a uh, uh, wet floor sign. Okay. Are we supposed to get rid of the wet floor sign? I guess we don't have a place to put them. So. Yeah. In so one level, apparently, them. like there's one of those um. Uh, areas for wet floor signs. Oh, really? And apparently, there's just a ton of them. Oh, good. Uh, there are bombs in here though, so I'm gonna grab a bomb. We had to play that in high school. Uh, on steel pan of all things, which is kind of weird. Actually, that cool. sounds really cool. There is a yeah. steel pan in the original track. You're correct. Don't go near it. What? You gotta uh, not stand that close there, buddy. Uh, that that was not close. Where were you? I was pretty far away. Yeah, how far away? Pretty far. How, how far is pretty far? Pretty far. Where Where were you? Where were you standing? I was... Right here. Right there? Yeah. That's too close. How was that too close? I was that That's close last close. time it exploded, and it was fine. I Wait, wait. What'd you throw in there? A bomb or a, a, bomb. a barrel? Bomb. A bomb? Yeah, you can't be that close for a bomb. I was that close last time you put a bomb in there, and it was no, fine. You yes, I was. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Weren't. I, I watched... No, I was right here, and I watched you get flung across. Yeah, it's directional. Bull bullshit. Also, w was the door open? No. Yeah, it's directional. Directional so if you, from if what? You, if the door's open, there's no direction. If you stand right here, right in front of it, it's gonna explode. That's the that's the least that's the path of least resistance. That's but the door doesn't open. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh, according to the game, look, you got big thick steel on the side, big thick steel no, on the, the side, door a wall on the other does side. Does not open when it explods. It does not automatically the open. The door is the thinnest thing. Oh my so god. So in theory. It'll blast Stop trying forward. to defend no, the you're right. The stop door doesn't to... actually get shown. Shut up. I'm talking here. No. The door no. doesn't actually get shown to Listen, be open. stop trying to defend a bad game. Did you put another bomb in there? No, I didn't. Okay. Why, wait, what do you mean defend a bad game? We're not talking about Dark Souls. <laughs> are, are you saying Dark Souls is a bad game? Yeah. Oh, it's, shit. It's 60% good, 40% bad, therefore awful. Uh. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's an awful game. <laughs> See, 90% of the time, I'm 100% right. Nah. 100% <laughs> of the time, I'm 90% right. Uh. It's like golf. <laughs> it's like golf. Gotta be close. I still can't believe you said that. That might be your my favorite quote of you of all time. It's like golf. <laughs> my favorite is still to, to <laughs> disagree on something. What? My favorite thing still mm -hmm. is to disagree you on something for mm -hmm. like an hour straight and yeah. then finally be like yeah no you're right the entire time i don't know why we're fighting you about fight this. back and forth yeah. i mean that's what makes quality content you're about to get blasted up are you putting a bomb in there uh oh did i do it oh i was hoping it would what are you doing I'm trying to trying to get trying to get launched oh by what by the the what's it called the height thingy oh i'm putting another bomb in there are you excited for Dark Souls Remastered? Uh, I'm not. This fucking thing not do this. I'm very excited for Dark Souls Remastered. Oh, I hope I get blasted. You're not. You're not going to get launched. I have uh, to pass it up to you if you want to go up too. Sure. Oh, God. Excuse me. Well, you got to lower the thing first. Yeah, I know. It, it won't lower. What are you doing? It won't lower. Well, that's weird. Is it broken? Uh. My my, my might be. Oh no. Really? Hmm. There we go. Oh. I don't know what was wrong with it. Oh, ah. God. I'm just gonna let you deal with that. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh my god, we've been going for an hour. Oh my god. Oh my god, I might have been clipping for an hour. <laughs> oh, have you really? It's okay, I can fix that. You're a doofus. I, I have a, I have a declipper. Uh, okay, cool. What is pair of scissors? Uh, yes. You just you just I guess actually those snip off the waveform. <laughs> those would those would actually be clippers, wouldn't they? Yeah. Uh, do do you have a uh, some glue? No. 
Oh, okay. I don't have any glue. Oh. <laughs> Did I tell you about what I bought at the bookstore? No. At, I'm like, assuming okay, a book. So you're, you're, you're not far off, so... I got a bunch of lead sheets. Not far off? What is that? <laughs> okay. Well, I, I did get a book of sheet music. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I'll get some music so I can write down lines and whatnot. Then I realized, oh, you know what I can do? I'll just glue in the lead sheets I was given to the book oh, so I don't no. have to like have loose papers. Oh, no. So so what I do is I go to the bookstore. I buy I buy a, a thing of sheet music, staff paper, mm -hmm. uh, a glue stick, and some goldfish. Because I'm like, hey, I'll get some goldfish. Why not? I walk up to the, the cashier, and she's, you know, good-looking girl. She she's like, uh, what do you? Uh, don't you know? Do you, do you mind if I ask what you're gonna do with this stuff? Like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna glue the goldfish to the paper. Did you say that to her? Yeah, I did. All right. And she's like, are you serious? I go, no. She goes, oh, what, what are you doing with this stuff? I'm like, oh well, I I have some music that I want to glue into. Uh, this. So, yeah, I grab some music paper. I'm gonna glue it in. He goes, oh, what, what about the goldfish? I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> She's like, you know what? That's actually a pretty fair answer. I'll, I'll give you that. I'm like, alright, cool. It's like, what about the goldfish? I'm hungry. Like, was, yeah. what, what did you expect? <laughs> but just, like, the look on her face, she was bewildered by the combination of stuff. It was really funny. That's that's pretty good. You should, you should have asked her out at that point. Uh, no. No. Because I was wearing my employee uniform. Never mind. <laughs> Never a good idea. But see, you doofus. She took the interest. I don't know if she was really interested. I I think she was like, uh, hmm, okay. You never know. There's always a possibility. I guess. Yeah. I guess. And now you'll never know unless you go back to the bookstore yeah. and she's working again. Man, yeah, I'll try not to. So. <laughs> I try not to. She's like, I'm I'm not going back. Well, not even that. There's nothing in the bookstore for me to get really usually. Uh, more real books. They don't sell real books there. Well, that's a shitty bookstore. <laughs> I already have two real books, and that's two more than I really need. Listen, there's like four of them out there, so... There are way more than four. Well, four of the main series, and then there's a whole bunch of different little things. Yeah, like the Jazz Solos, Volume 2. Yeah, I don't consider those real books. I mean, like, Real Book Volume 1, 2, and 3, and 4. It's a real book. There's the Vocal Real Book. I have that one. Go... Why? The high jazz, uh, high vocal and low vocal. Why? Because I'm in a vocal jazz ensemble. Why? Oh, you doofus. Why? Because. Why? Because why is crooked. Wow. Why? Um, oh my the, god, uh, Owen Wilson is well, Luigi. <laughs> the, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Never mind. I don't know what you were going to say either. Can you pass me a bucket by, by chance? I can. Where are you? A bucket of water, please. <laughs> you just expect me to pass you a bucket of blood? Yeah. Got it? There you go. Yeah. Okay. Should we wrap this episode up soon? Or should we finish uh, this level? Uh, finish the level? We have a lot to do, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, there's still a lot, a lot of stuff happening. Oh my happening. god, this, this level is going to take us three episodes. Well, two and like... Well, we spent half of last episode. That's true. And then the entirety of this one. So maybe like a quarter of the next one. We don't have that much left to do. I don't see any bullet holes. But yet we have right. a bullet hole gun. Well, I think they're in every level. That's maybe true, but maybe not. Mm. I think, do you want to, maybe, do you want to clock out and do you want to, oh, we have to do the boxes still. Down I don't, don't want to clock out. Yeah, we, we have. Well, how much do we really have left? Um... We, you already cleared out this whole other tunnel, so we're good I did, there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm stacking boxes really poorly, but I'm still putting them over here. Uh, uh, do we need to stack them properly? Um, apparently, if they're, they have to be like upright to get the most points, but you still get points for putting them into the section. Mm, okay. So I think there's one box not upright over there. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, do, are you? I don't know if what? we actually have to destroy the lights. Well, I'm going to throw them in, just in case. Well, I wouldn't, because I don't know if you're supposed to destroy certain things. Oops. See, that's the thing. I don't know what to destroy and what not to destroy. We have a bunch of wet floor signs, but I don't know if you actually need to get rid of any of them. You want to just leave them? No. I want to get rid okay. of I want to get rid of stuff that can actually fit in there. Did you fit the light in there? I did, yeah. Holy shit. 
That's how I roll, bitch. Oh, there's a fucking thing down here, too. What? Oh, yeah. So there's a bunch of, like, styrofoam fragile boxes. I guess we just leave them because they're not. St- uh, styrofoam what boxes? There's just styrofoam. Fragile styrofoam boxes. What's that F word? Fragile? No, uh, it's, uh, isn't, it's, isn't that Italian? Fragile? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Sorry, my pronunciation is, uh, la shit. <laughs> my, my pronunciation? <laughs> what? Uh, it's just uh, pron- pronunciation. Well, look at how the word is, is, is spelled. That re- is that a regional dialect thing that I just brought up? Maybe. Okay. I mean, the word is spelled noun. Yeah, pronunciation. I guess, but, pr- but, but pronunciation. So you're just getting getting rid of that O. Yeah, <laughs> but there's an O there. Well, it's just, it's a silent O. <laughs> silent O. Yeah. Is that, is that what happens when you make an O face? No, that's what. Never the mind. fuck are you talking about? Turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese. <laughs> I really think so. Da 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 da. da. You know what? I, I broke myself of a habit of saying words dumb. Did you? I used to say both. Now I say both. Yeah, both is there's no L. Yeah, that was just that was like a a, di- a regional dialect thing that I had, and I was like, I want to f- not do that. Like, I'm sorry, but you're no, dumb if you say both. I have a friend who says uh, volume. 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 <laughs> hey, turn up the volume. I hate or, that. Or melt. There's no A. There's clearly there's no a. a U. Yeah. <laughs> Like well, no, it's it's really the U, uh, the O that they're mispronouncing. Yes. Valium. Yeah. But it sounds like it's Valium, and I'm like, that's that's <laughs> a. That's a drug. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the chairs. I don't feel like destroying right. the chairs. The uh, we're almost done. My, I think we are almost done, actually. My mom can't say. Uh, my mom has to say. No, uh, I don't. Don't centers. bother with the styrofoam. I don't know what we're doing with it. I don't know if it's crate or if it's a destruction thing. I'm, I'm throwing it in. Well, okay. it's also not styrofoam. Is it not? Is it plastic? It's not styrofoam. Yeah, it's. It, you can see that it's got the the four. Look, look at the top. No, it is styrofoam. Are what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Does does it say styrofoam anywhere? No, but it's clearly shaped in that way because that cardboard doesn't have the rounded corners. But also look on the top; it's got the four the four um, pieces, the four lids closed in that way that you would on a cardboard box. You're right. So this is just a really poorly modeled cardboard box. Must be, because it's got the rounded edges like a styrofoam box would, but they're just completely not. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I didn't get to... Oh, there's I, one more I, crate up there, too. Totally forgot to finish this. Uh, yeah, my mom can't say... Uh, she has to say 25 cent piece instead of quarter. Why can't she say quarter? Because she's from New York and says quarter. Quarter? Yeah. Quarter. At least there's For an a, long, a there. That's true. But she she drops the, the middle R. And people always give her shit about it. Quacter. <laughs> For a long time, I couldn't say... For long, okay, so there's a there's an airport in New York. It starts with an L. There's an airport in New York is, is a good start to a tongue twister. It does. Um, it does. What it does? What does? <laughs> How does? <laughs> the uh, anyway, so it's it's pr- it's pronounced Laguardia. Yeah, Laguardia is what a lot of people say. No, wait. No, it's it's pronounced LaGuardia. That's how it's spelled. Yeah. But my mom for a long time would say LaGuardia. LaGuardia. And that's how that's how my mom that's how my sister and I would always say it as well. And then I saw it spelled out. I'm like, they spelled it wrong. She's like, no, that's how it's spelled. I'm like, what? <laughs> They've just been saying yeah. it wrong the whole time. Yeah. And then and I, I couldn't break myself of it, and I did. That was it was nice. Alright, so we're almost done. We can actually yeah, we can we can clock out in this episode. You don't want to try to get this data pad out of the ground? I don't. It's impossible. Right, it just won't. How can I get onto the fucking... I just want to take a look up top because I've never been on top. There you go. I just want to do the thing. I just want to do the thing and do the thing. Oh, yeah. All right. There's nothing over there. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Judge, can you put up a picture of Ringo Starts MS, MS Paint? Or- I know because copyright. Ah, fuck you. 
Actually, I don't care anymore, so. Sure. Ringo Star Art. There we go. Yeah, hopefully I remember <laughs> to put that in. Yeah, hopefully you do. Um, all right. I think we're ready to clock out then. Don't put the boombox in the fire. Because uh, you get demoted immediately if you do. All right. Are we ready to try? Are we ready for the demotion? I believe that we are. One second. Let me just... uh. You're bringing the boombox with you. All right, we're good. All right, activate. I wish I could do more for my company. Give me some paperwork because the paperwork gives me uh, more points. Best day ever. Did you say? Did you say paperwork? Pep what? All right, clock oh. off. All right, crossing demoted. my fingers. Come on. Dem demoted. Come on, don't demote me. We did nothing wrong. Yep. Why? How? I don't know. I think it's broken. It keeps demoting me. All right, what? Like, well, we can see what we missed by the uh, things. Gas workers start cults. So gas. What does that mean? Oh, was it the uh, biohazard crates that we didn't destroy? Oh, did we have to destroy the biohazard stuff? I think so. All right, hold on. This one says, Santisha Kuru was employed. I didn't see any of their work. I did, bullshit. Substandard worth ethic. What are you fuck are you talking about? What, what does that it. one say? What, what is the headline of that one? Uh, man kicks bucket, dies. Oh, there was a bucket that we left somewhere. Oh, whoops. Okay, so literally just a bucket and that? What else? Blind man discovers blackness. Okay, there was scorch marks somewhere. Damn it. Ah, I died! What? How did I die? God damn it. I don't know. Like, we were thorough. But I don't understand how I keep getting demoted, and yet that was a 93%. Man, fuck this game. This game is absurd. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I don't know. I don't get it. I... D I don't. I just don't know. I don't know. Well, next time. Next time, next time we'll get demoted, demoted again. again. Yeah, I, we're only going to play through this once. By the way, we're not going back through to get a hundred percent. I'm not. No, God no. I refuse. All right, bye. Where's my Bob note? Was there no Bob note there? It's going crazy. Oh, great, boy. game sucks <laughs> it doesn't suck it's just annoying can i tell you a secret too real fast what my i really wanted to